Ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, we're back here at the RSP Lounge. My name is Alexis Cardoza. I'm your host. I am here, flanked by Marcus Williams. An amazing, <laughs> amazing. What, what do you want to be known as? Artist, illustrator? Technically, I'm a character designer. Character designer. By trade. Um, I used to think I was just an illustrator because I do illustration. But my passion, I think, stems from character design. So that's what I've been doing for the past 20 plus years. 28 years. Yes. It, well, it goes, it goes faster in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's, I mean, professionally, I've been, I've been in the industry for about 20, 22 years. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So uh, I want to hold one of these oh, up yeah. to the camera real oh, yeah. quick. And I want you to tell me as I hold them up. Yeah. Um, where these designs come from for you like where's the uh yeah your your ma mastery come from is that even a word i don't even I, yeah, know it's definitely a mastery um uh, i'm still working on mastery uh a lot of people say that i'm i'm uh at a greater level i think than they you know than i think i am uh because i follow a lot of amazing artists but that's the kind of thing to where you know when it when it comes to practicing and or doing something you're excited like i'm passionate about cool characters so I'm a fan first, and if I'm a fan of, let's say, the Power Rangers, um, oh it, it doesn't God. yeah it doesn't take much for me to you know get to that next connect the two dots to say well what if T'Challa, Black Panther was the Black Ranger, and so on and so forth and so it's it's like all of that practice and getting that creative juice to kind of you know get a concept out um, doesn't take much for me now but. Along the way, it used to be a frustration to just get my ideas out and communicate because I'd tell it to someone and they'll be like, man, I don't understand what you're talking about. So. Yeah, yeah. So let me ask you something. Where yeah. did this all come from? Did you start your, uh, when you were younger, um, oh, yeah. uh, you know, as a kid? Where did the love for picking up a pencil and putting it to the paper come from? Absolutely. I, and I think it, it, it came from the same place, uh, but I just didn't know I was a character designer. Uh, I watched cartoons, played video games, and I saw movies, saw the Disney movies, but I hadn't, I, I didn't connect that the characters is what drew me in. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, Street Fighter characters, you name it. Um, I would look at the characters and then I would try to draw those characters when I got home or at school uh, and things like that, but it was, it didn't bother me that I wasn't skilled enough. It was just exciting to say, hey, I'm going to try to draw that character because the characters is, is what connected to me. But over the years, as my skill improved, that's when I'm like, well, I want to design my own character. I want to see something that I see up here on the page. And that's what I've been really practicing for the past 20 years. Have you taken any of this, uh, any of your drawings to the next level, like any uh, comic book company? And I know Boom Studios right now is killing it with the comic books oh, yeah. for Power Rangers. Yeah. This looks next level i'll tell you that right now Appreciate seeing it. this um at first hand guys uh with my very <laughs> own eyes this is not something that i you know it's one thing to watch to look at your prints online yeah and it's another thing yeah. for me to see this uh artwork in front of me sure have you have you ever thought of speaking to anyone on, on the on the market out there sure. about making this uh a reality um you know, like a, for nationally, and I mean, you're national, right? You're online. Well, I'm, you're I'm worldwide. I, I was about to say, I, I think I'm, I'm more hood famous. Oh. Uh, I am, I am, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't really think of myself as famous. It's so weird. I haven't been on television yet, so. Well, I, you're on, you're on RSP I live right online, now, baby. Yes. So this is right now. <laughs> you're live on television, brother. I'm working towards fame. Uh, I don't really want fame, but no, I, I think uh, pitching it to studios uh, is unique because you have to go through their editors and their story. They have a lot of great stories. I don't think that it would go poorly, but right. uh, if I pitch my own idea, I haven't done that yet officially, Okay. but I created my own comic book with my business partner, Tuskegee Airs. Yes, yes. Uh, and that was, that's been amazing because we started it with a Kickstarter. Uh, we raised 74,000 in 30 days. Wow, so, God bless me. You know, it was, it's a really, really powerful system to kind of bypass asking permission. Hey, do you want to make this cool idea that I came up with and someone saying yes or no? Right. It's kind of flipping a coin. Um, so it's really empowering. I would love to work with Boom Studios. Uh, I did some covers for them. Get uh, out of here. I did some covers. Not, wow. for, not for this yet. Right. But, on but you did books. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was it was already kind of I think we got a, a good working relationship so far. So they just sold out of one of the, the covers that I did. 
Which they, one? Uh, this was, um, oh gosh, it's the, he, he was Dark Blood. Um, I think it's Dark, Dark Blood. I want to say Dark Blood. And, oh, yeah? And, and, yeah, so they just did a, 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 a cover, but it was only available for a few hours and nice. they sold out. So I think that's a good way to so start. With, with Power Rangers, right? Um, is this something because you grew up watching them? Oh, yeah. And you said to yourself, I have the talent. I know what I want to do with them. I know the story. Yeah. Have you thought of of taking your your love for power rangers and turning it into a i guess a, a fanfic book right because that's for now that's all, all you can do because that's of ip situations and whatnot right yes uh well so what i've told a lot of people when they say man just do the comic i'm like a lot of people don't understand how much work goes into a comic Correct. so <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah um what i say is the for me as an illustrator who doesn't have as much time doing these posters like saying that I would love to see Nubia as a Power Ranger is actually enough to resonate. This one, I think, just hit 19,000 likes wow. on that post because I actually get to write like two or three paragraphs of backstory and just kind of say how that would work. How would Nubia from DC Comics uh, uh, on Amazon get to being a Power Ranger? And I just get to kind of just, you know, a little, little blurb, so to speak. And fans and people that love Nubia and Power Rangers are like, perfect. I love it, you know? And I think that's all I really need in, for me as a creative. But if for any wonderful reason the, the stars aligned and Boom was like, I think we can make that happen. Because yeah. the, the Ninja yeah. Turtles yes. got the crossover. Yes. So if, if, uh, if they were cool with somehow working with DC Comics or Warner or whatever, I would be all over that. I just don't that's... know if they would let me write it. So Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's one thing to, you know, yeah to have the backstories which is great because you do you have yeah. your backstories for your characters which yeah. is uh the fundamental uh yeah. one of the fundamentals to writing and and having a, a comic book or yeah. or trade paperback or whatever you're trying to do right yeah so that's pretty cool can you um let uh everyone at uh ranger stop know like when you stop and pop where they can find your uh your amazing artwork and, absolutely and, and, and i mean again guys i'm looking at it this is like <laughs> next level like i'm looking at, at, a, at a Boom Studios book in front nice. of me, it's nice. incredible. The details, insane. Listen, by the way. I think so, I yeah. think pitchforks and torches <laughs> in front of Boom Studios, but friendly in a friendly way, just kind of nudge them in that direction. Um, definitely find me online at Marcus the Visual, um, and I have my website. Just put a dot com behind that. I have my own website and things like that. I sell my posters and my prints. Um, but yes, if you follow me on social networks, it's Marcus the Visual. Uh, that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and other places. I'm trying to get on this this whole TikTok thing. I don't dance, so I gotta work. I gotta work at it. I don't Let me know. tell you something. Yeah. You point that camera down <laughs> and do a time lapse of what you're doing. Right. You're right. TikTok famous, my friend. Okay, cool. I'm just. That's all I gotta you, tell you. You heard right it now. here first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once again, guys, make sure you follow him. Make sure you go to uh, Marcus the Visuals. Yes dot com and go get your uh, your prints uh like i mentioned before we're live here all weekend rsp lounge make sure you check us out like us uh so, you know share this with everyone out yes. there and uh yeah man thank you again for coming oh, on here absolutely. i appreciate you absolutely. and hope to see more of your stuff all right man thank you so much bye guys we'll Peace. see you soon